here we have a Lenovo ThinkPad S230U Twist Convertible Ultrabook. We're going to open it up and explore the insides. So how do we know it's a convertible Ultrabook? Well, it twists. The screen can flip backwards and forward to form a tablet. Not really thin. And it also twists back to a laptop. We're going to flip to the back to remove 11 screws to open it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This screw is the hard drive screw. It releases the hard drive hinge. You put your hand on the side and you flick it open, push it open, and it comes out. There's also one screw hidden behind it that we also need to remove. To remove the hard drive, you flick the tab open. There's a plastic tab for you to pull out the hard drive. Please note, the hard drive for this laptop is a 2.5 inch, 7 mil hard drive. Normal laptop hard drives are 9 mil. There's the hidden screw. We're going to remove all the screws from the back, even though to just remove the keyboard, there's um, screws and there's labels on the back of the laptop and shows you a keyboard picture. There's only two of them if you want to remove the keyboard by itself. But since we're opening up the whole laptop, we're removing every screw. Also, all the screws at the back are the same size and the same color, which is black, and the screws inside are silver, so you don't really have to separate them. Now we're going to flip over and remove the keyboard. To remove the keyboard you push down, uh, up, sorry about that, lift it up and flip it forward. There's two cables holding the keyboard down to the motherboard. Now to remove the keyboard surround, we have to remove 7 screws. These screws are all the same, they also have a triangle on it. It tells you which screw to remove, and they silver. We also need to remove the cables that are attached. There is the BIOS battery, which is this one, the speaker, the touchpad,
and a hard drive accelerometer. We're now going to close the lid and need to remove the plastic hinge cover on the back. You're going to need a prying tool for this. You can't, I know you can't see this in the video, but there's a plastic piece there. It has no screws holding it down, so you just need to pry it open. It's just a small plastic piece. If this is the first time you're opening up your laptop, it's going to take you some time as it's hard. and not loose from previous openings. Now is the tricky part to remove the keyboards around. You have to open up your laptop, twist it. Twist it halfway. Pry open the surrounding. To remove it, you have to lift it up, flex it a bit, and you need to drag it out under the LCD. Do it slowly as um, some of the cables that you have removed might get caught into the parts and you might rip it. Here we have the mobile wireless, 3G or 4G. That's the wireless, normal wireless, your CPU, your RAM is under there, your fan and heatsink, your hard drive goes there, and that's your battery. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. There's, not, there's no need to separate the screws as um, there's not much difference. There's only two types of screws. The inside screws, which are silver. The outside screws, which are black. And they're all the same size. The laptop doesn't have much parts that can be changed. You only can change the hard drive, which is a 2.5 inch, 7mm thick hard drive. And that's basically it.